Good evening everyone. This is Rishali. In previous session we discussed about complete introduction of software engineering. I have mentioned complete software engineering playlist in below description box. Now in today's session we will discuss about the next important topic that is generic process model. Let's start the session. In this session we will discuss about generic process model under that process framework activities, umbrella activities, framework activities and identifying task sets. Let's see all these points one by one. Now the first point is generic process model. See here in this particular diagram, this is a structure of generic process model. First, there is a software process. What exactly software process? Software process means to develop quality software product by using some software engineering rules and some technical and management rules. This is called a software process. Now, for performing this software process, the generic process model is there. Generic process model include two types of activities. One process framework activities and another one is umbrella activities. Now, generic process model is a base of all the other software models. For example, in software engineering, there are waterfall model, spiral model, V model, RAD model, etc. So we use these software models for development process. Now generic process model is a base of all these software models or we can say that generic process model is a description of all the other software development process and to performing this process, this process framework activities and umbrella activities is there. This process framework activities includes communication, planning, modeling, construction and deployment, this kind of activities. And umbrella activities include software project tracking, risk management, software quality assurance, technical reviews, software configuration management and reusability, this kind of activities. So these umbrella activities are performed in each and every process framework activities. So under that process framework and umbrella activities, it performs framework activities with their tasks and action sets. Now we will discuss all these activities in detail on next slides. Now the first thing is process framework activities and the first activity is communication. So every software development product or project start with the communication phase. There is a communication between customer and developer or we can say that communication between customers and stakeholders. Stakeholders means each and every person involved in particular project. For example, customer, developer, tester, manager, team lead. So each and every person included in the particular project, this is called a stakeholder. So there is a communication between all the customers and stakeholders. So in communication phase, they discuss what exact product customer want, what is the need of customers, or they discuss the features of software, specification of software product, so what exactly customer want and what are the requirements of customer? These all things are discussed in communication phase. It is also called as requirement gathering phase. So they discuss or gather requirement about the project and the software. Now next phase is planning. So after gathering all the requirements, there is a planning. So in planning phase, they plan complete software product development schedule. Here they plan about which type of programming language they used, which type of resources they required for development process, then a work schedule means what are the deadline of particular project, then a complete estimation means uh, how much money required for development process. So these all things are planned as per the software engineering rules. So this is called as planning phase. Next. Now after communication, after gathering requirements, and after planning phase, there is a modeling. So modeling means to develop a practical model, means how your model, how your product look like in future. So for modeling phase, they use different algorithms and flowchart. Before doing coding, there are algorithm is necessary, right? Algorithm means step by step solution of particular problem. For example, there is a login modules. So first enter username, second step enter password, and then click on submit button. So this is the algorithm of each and every module in this way. The next one is a flowchart. 
so flowchart showed complete flow diagram means after clicking login button which page will be open after clicking submit button which database will be open so this is called as flowchart and algorithm so this all things have discussed and draw in modeling phase and if any changes are required so doing with changes in this modeling phase only now after algorithm after flowchart generation there is a construction phase in construction phase actual coding and testing will be performed so coding means to use different programming language or appropriate programming language for development process coding performed by the developer or the programmer after coding there is a testing phase tester check that whether the flow of coding is correct or not or whether the particular product is as per the requirement of the customer or not so tester check that program provides the desired output as per the customer requirements so this coding and testing this things have performed in this construction phase next now after modeling after construction there is a deployment phase deployment phase means to deliver the product to the customer and take a feedback from the customer if customer wants any corrections or customer having any demands to make a changes in that particular software this is called as deployment phase clear so this is all are the process framework activities next now next one is umbrella activities so this umbrella activities have performed throughout the software process or th throughout the process framework activities so the first umbrella activity is software project tracking and control it means that there is a particular person who check that your project will perform or develop as per the planning or not see there is a particular deadline of each and every project okay so it necessary to complete your project or complete your product as per the deadline so to maintain the tracking and control of all these things have involved in this particular activity now second is a risk management see there are some potential risk have involved in particular software project so it keep necessary this potential risk not impacted on software product quality and outcome so this thing have monitor in risk management activity the second one is software quality assurance we will discuss software quality assurance in detail in next unit so just remember this thing this activity maintain the software quality or product quality okay means they maintain their time complexity they maintain their space complexity and overall quality of the product clear next now the next one is technical reviews see in technical review if there are any errors have occurred in particular phase for example there are errors have occurred in modeling phase so solve those error then it move to the next phase now next phase is construction phase if there are any errors so first solve those error then they move to deployment phase okay this is called as technical review means assessment of errors and their correction on each and every stage of the activity the next activity is software configuration management which is called as scm we will discuss scm in detail in next unit but scm means to maintain the configuration management process it has some rules and techniques if there are any changes occur in your software product so it maintain their configuration because there are different linking library files linking software files so it maintain the configuration of all this product the next one is reusability management see while developing a particular software product there are different models right for example login modules sign up modules so if there are login modules are reuse in the particular product then maintain the reusability is there okay you can use same module in other product also and the last one is work product preparation and production it means that it maintain the documentation of each and every activity for example in communication phase it maintain the complete documentation what exactly discuss in communication phase then planning phase it also maintain the documentation logs some forms and list in the particular uh, activities right so this is a work product preparation and production phase next now the next one is framework activities see we discuss process framework activities then umbrella activities now this process framework activities having a particular task 
set so just see here for suppose there is a communication activity okay and this communication activity work for this small project so what are the task sets see the first you need to make a phone call with the stakeholders means you need to phone call with the customers then discuss requirements with the customers then write down all those requirements organize all those requirements and finally mail these requirements to each and every stakeholders stakeholders means each and every person involved in particular product or particular project whether it is customer tester developer analyst or each and every one okay so this is a task that will be maintained in communication activity okay the second example is suppose you need to perform communication activity for large project okay so here you can't uh, collect the requirement through the phone call because there is a large project right so the first task is to arrange a live meeting okay with all the stakeholders the second task is complete feasibility study means you need to do the some feasibility study of product of customers or each and everything now third is requirement analysis and last one is specification documents maintain the documents of requirements of the large project clear so this is called as task sets means what exactly perform in communication activity maintain their step wise directions clear next now last one is identifying task sets so similar thing is there task sets means actual work to be performed in each and every activity this is called as task sets okay and this is called as action what exactly they perform so again take a same consider communication activity task sets so whether it is small project or whether it is large project what exactly task is there first prepare list of stakeholders means the persons which are uh, present in particular meeting or particular communication activity so maintain the list of all those stakeholders then organize a meeting and inform all the stakeholders meeting schedule and meeting timing right then discuss requirement finalize requirement and last make a some list of issues means which type of issues are generate in particular activity or particular project so this is called as activity task sets and you need to perform action as per the task sets clear so this is called as generic process model next so thank you keep learning